welcome to the uh, first episode here of That Marketing Show. Uh, you know, we're old school here. I used to do whiteboard Tuesdays, but I, since we moved into this new office, we've got a big blackboard. And so we're going to do Blackboard Tuesdays um, to start off this first episode of That Marketing Show. And thank you for watching, by the way. I appreciate everyone who has made the effort to spend some time and look through uh, the videos that we're going to be putting up. And a lot of exciting guests coming up and a lot of exciting things happening uh, for the coffee group, which is the company I own. And for That Marketing Show, the output for some of the activity we're going to be generating. I wanted to talk today specifically about something that happened to me just uh, the other day. A customer had called up, and we get a lot of customer inquiries. Obviously, um, for being a, an SEO company and SEOing yourself, um, obviously we do pretty well. So we're, we're pretty well ranked, um, you know, in, especially in New Jersey, for um, keywords like SEO and um, SEO's firm and SEO's company. But the point is a lot of people will call up and ask us uh, for services for their own business. So a company called the other day and they asked, okay, great, we want to do SEO. We, we know we need to do this. We know we need to get ourselves listed. Um, how much does it cost? And give me a quote. So sent over the normal quote uh, that we would think for a small business uh, in New Jersey. And, and they called back and they, they said, this seems extremely expensive. And I said, oh, okay, uh, that's, that's fine. Yeah, it, it is expensive. It's what you have to do today. And I thought about this deeper, is that the discussion needs to go like this. What is your OPA? Now OPA for me, and for many people, is very simple. O. P. A. A are actions. So this discussion we had it's actually starting in the reverse. Okay? P, purpose. Okay? What's the purpose? Why is this person trying to get themselves listed? Or this company? O, and here's the key. What's the outcome? What, what's the outcome? What's the purpose? And what are the actions that's going to get this person to the purpose? So, Outcome is, let's just say, two to four additional leads per month, okay? Two to four additional leads per month. What does that mean? Okay, so this particular company happened to be a um, electrician. Um, I won't name names, but so what is this worth, right? What's an average job worth? Uh, let's just say $500, okay? So out of the two to four, how many should you close? Let's just say 30%. So let's just say between one to two, all right? So basically that's about $1,000 of additional, additional income. But more importantly, more importantly, P, P, what's the purpose? Why are you doing this? Is this a short-term gig? Are you gonna be an electrician for a couple of months? Is this a lifetime operation? So P was, well, the reality is, is that this is a change for this particular company. They needed to really drive results. They, they were behind the curve. They, hadn't, they had just built a website. The, the concept of trying to now become relative was really important. The, the purpose was that I need to build my business, right? The purpose was I need to be actually relevant to the competitors. Competitors one, two, three, four, five. How many competitors do you have? Where are they? What are they doing? Well, right, that's right. They're doing the same process. They're going out and finding leads, okay. So what are the action steps, okay? I think here's where a lot of people and a lot of the, um, a lot of the how to and how do we get to the process where we uh, as a company help uh, w with the coffee group, and I'm, I'm taking this away 
from uh, the marketing aspects of this, but when you think of the action items, you have to think about time, okay? So let's just say, for instance, it costs $500 a month for marketing. No matter what the, th the strategy is, it's SEO, it's pay-per-click, or it's social media, whatever it is. What you have to do is actions, is think about your time. So if you think about how long would it take me to maybe network? Uh, let's just go to a network meeting and, and spend a couple hours speaking with people and getting business cards. How many hours? Let's just say it's two hours, okay? So here's two hours. And I got, let's just say, maybe one qualified lead out of that discussion. You know, 20, 40 people in a network meeting, maybe that's what you get, okay? Two, let's just say I decided to make sales calls, okay? Make sales calls. Let's say I just got on the phone and spent an hour or two calling companies and, and trying to get someone on the phone, business owner, so let's just say that's another lead, okay? Just in this, this alone, how many hours? This is four hours already. What's your time worth for those four hours? Hmm. If I charge $125 an hour for um, my services, that's $500 for four hours of my time. So you see what I'm getting at? Is you have to balance your actions, time, relative to what your marketing is. So if we look at the OPA in this case, my object is to get two to four more leads per month. Well, what does that cost? Well, we figured out if I did it on my own, it would cost $500. So $500 a month for marketing to get the same result, to close, and to have a positive ROI? This is what we have to think about when we talk about working with any client or working with your own client. If your client comes to you and says, your services are expensive, you have to start to break it down. Think about what they do. What's their objective? What are they trying to accomplish? What's the purpose? Is the purpose big enough to create enough emotional juice to get them to pay for an expensive product? And then A, what are the action steps? How are you gonna balance this out, price it out, so that it makes sense? In this case, we found out that you know, the ROI is typically exactly the same as the time it would take to, to basically get this. Although this is, this is relatively um, objective, it's, it's kind of true, because you know, we've all gone through network meetings and we know how much time is involved and what you actually get out of it. And if you make sales calls, if you make 100 calls, you maybe get one good lead. So I think the reality is, is if things be put into perspective by thinking about your OPA, your objective, you know, your overall strategy, what your, what your results are, well, excuse me, what you're, what you're going to get out of it, why you're doing it, and then the action steps you need to accomplish it and balance that against what really is involved in time, whether you're doing it or you're hiring someone to do some of the things. And that's a great approach to looking at how, you know, as a company, you can help your customers. Hope this was helpful. Can't wait for the next episode. It's Matt Coffee with That Marketing Show.